What is up YouTube and welcome to another Crib Zone Excursion. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up, subscribe for more. Come back to bed, KZE. What did I mean? My last intro. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed my last intro with a very sexy voice. Shouts out. If you guys want to send in an intro, the best way to do it, send me a video through Snapchat conversation. You have to go to your camera roll and send it to me so I could actually save it. It's at KZE underscore production. After my fall yesterday, I came to a conclusion that skateboarding with this messed up tire is extremely dangerous. It was also the fact that I had two dogs on my hands. Oh, hold up. I had both my hands occupied. Fat ass Milo weighs about 20 pounds. Milo was not injured. Thanks for all the concerns. It was nothing serious. It wasn't really a bad accident. It could have gone way worse. The topic of the day will be, why is my dog so dominant? There's a difference between dominance and aggressiveness. A dog that's dominant will try and set their position straight with another dog. Just means that a dog doesn't back down from another dog. Now that doesn't mean that they will attack. The dogs that do attack are the aggressive dogs. There's three main reasons why a dog is created to be dominant. Firstly, there's how a dog's raised or how it's trained. The second big factor is a dog's past experience. Something a dog's gone through can't be untrained out of. The last thing that determines a dog's dominance is the environment you live in. It's upside down. All right, now let's get it. Dog probably thinks we're going to the dog park, but I really don't want to go. Training and raising a dog is pretty much the same thing. So I'll either be saying either or. How you train a dog will determine a dog's behavior. When you're raising a dog, you want to avoid showing any aggression. Just like when you're raising a baby, showing anger can traumatize a dog or at least teach them a new behavior. Yes, there are dogs that are bred to do that type of stuff, but no dog is gonna want to hurt something. All of that is taught. I think that's poison oak you're shitting on dog, by the way. When you do notice dominance, you want to try and correct it. If you are looking to dominance train your dog, you're going to need to have that planned out with someone else that has a dog. You can't train your dog to not be dominant at the dog park just because it's an uncontrolled environment. We're about to do some heavy exploring. Hopefully we don't rinse in the homeless person. And this is where we meet the edge unless, nah, let's go back. When people say you should have corrected the behavior, no, there's absolutely no way you could correct the behavior when there's another dog trying to kill your dog. The environment needs to be controlled. The two people have to have complete control of their dog. Obedience training is really important when you're raising your dog. He's about to howl. Someone might have died and you don't give a shit, do you? It's really important that you obedience train your dog. You can do it yourself. All obedience really is, is teaching them the basic commands and they learn the correct way without noticing any violence or any anger. Then a dog should not be aggressive. It's really important you correctly obedience train your dog. Some people ask, how do you get your dog to sit when there's stuff going on? I'm gonna tell him the command right now and if he doesn't do it, you guys are about to notice the secret little tip that I do in order to gain control of my dog. Sit down. Sit. This is where the collar comes in really handy. Soon as your dog knows you have control of him, he's gonna do what you say. Sit down. See, there's no tension in me pulling the collar. The point of obedience training is for your dog to understand that you are in control. All obedience training does sets the position straight with your dog. Are you serious? It's really important that your dog understands that you are in control of him. Of course, Crypto isn't perfect. The fact that he pulls me 
everywhere I want him to pull me. It gives him a really brave personality. Yes, this dude is in control. Most of the time I take him running. That's what these dogs were bred to do. They were bred to mush. The dog is in control. Huskies are extremely dominant dogs. A husky will always try to be the leader of a pack. Dogs are pack animals. My dog never goes out looking for trouble, but he will not back down from a dog. The only natural thing a dog can do in a situation where he does not want to back down is growl. Dog growling is completely normal in dog behavior. A dog's past experience has a lot to do with how they act. Oh, look at the wiener dog. Settle down with the wiener dog. This dog at this point is extremely traumatized of other dogs. Why would I want him to trust the dog? You don't know if the dog that's coming in is friendly or not. Dogs past experiences will have a big impact on how your dog acts. So your dog could be extremely friendly when he's on his puppy days, but as soon as he reaches maturity and another dog was to attack him, I can almost guarantee you that his attitude will change. He won't trust dogs. If I don't trust humans, you think I want my dog to trust dogs? Dogs are animals. Dogs, no other dog breeds. Just keep that in mind. If a dog has bad experiences, that's where a dog's survival and protection instinct kicks in. If he has bad experiences with the Doberman breed, he will be more alert when a Doberman walks in. Hey, you better pay for your child support. Now the last thing that affects a dog's dominance, the environment they're raised in. I know there's people out there that say, my dog park is savage, and hell yeah, it's savage. If I lived in a city where there's fruity ass dogs everywhere, my dog would grow up to be a fruit himself. So the dog environment he grows up in also determines their dominance level. That doesn't mean you can't correct it. You do have a chance to correct it. But like I said, it has to be planned out both your dog and the opposite owner. The environment has to be controlled. I should just talk to you guys and stare at the sunset for another hour. If you're looking to train your dog in dominance, Get a friend that also has a dog, preferably a dominant dog, and train your dog. As far as how do I train my dog, you guys can look it up. Oh, you see the blondie, don't you, you bastard? I see you, dog. Oh, you're so beautiful. You're like a little ginger from the top of your head. I love it. To all the new subscribers, welcome. To all the old subscribers, welcome. Oh my gosh, you got a fat ass. Mmm, they're so beautiful. They're so beautiful. Whatever the outcome is of your dog, because your dog will have a set personality, learn to embrace it. Have control of your dog. Know what your dog is capable of, and you should be all right. Someone in the comments mentioned that I should get crypto a muzzle. Why would I want my dog to not be able to protect himself? No, thank you. If he gets into a dog fight and I'm not there to break up the fight, I sure as hell will be rooting for him to kick the dog's ass. Huh, crypto? Oh, and he's out. Oh, damn, dog. Throw that ass at me. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Dusty ass, don't you have? Mmm, look at this fat booty. I wonder how this looks on the GoPro. Let's check it out. Oh, that looks badass. Holy shit. I've been talking to Jesus this whole time? Any dog breed can be trained to be both a man's best friend and a dog's best friend. It's just really important that you take the time and effort to train your dog and have complete control of them. I'm not saying your dog has to be a complete angel. You just have to be close enough to get control of your dog. Most of the time, Crypto is next to me. That could be a really big factor on why he's so, why he's so dominant. He could just feel protective over me or his area around him. Since he's always close to me, this is the reason why I always have him by the collar when he does get into dog arguments. Dogs just love to test Crypto's dominance. Let's just say this dog's the dropout student that just loves tests. He doesn't give a shit about him. The sun's going down. I hope you guys enjoyed this little ramble. Let me know if you guys enjoyed this. I could do more of these videos, man. I could just come here and sit down, talk to you guys about life. You guys have been mentioning that I should do daily vlogs. I don't know about that. I feel as if daily vlogs requires a more personal level. I'm not sure I'm ready for that or if I'll ever do daily vlogs, that is. Aww. If you guys are looking to support the channel financially, I do have a Patreon. The main goal of the channel is to build a bug out van and travel to every state and visit all the dog parks in the state. If you guys would like to support the channel, I'll throw the Patreon link down in the description and in the comments. 
So I pretty much learned to always keep a camera rolling. You never know what's gonna happen. Something crazy could happen just around the corner. Oh my gosh, there's cats everywhere. I remember this one time, if you guys know Papa YG, it was me and my other friend and he was with another friend behind us. He and the other friend were going significantly faster than them. So then this lady in the front of one of these houses right here, she stops us, right? So we stop and then she goes, are these two kids bullying you guys? Then we go like, no, they're not. So then a random cop just pulls up and then she goes all like, these, these kids are bullying them. And we're like, no, they're not. I just remembered that story. Like always, if you guys enjoyed this video, don't get to hit that thumbs up. Subscribe for more. Hey. Feel free to follow my Snapchat and my Instagram at KZE underscore production.